Hi viewers, today we will solve example 6.2 from BK Mahata. This is a power factor correction related problem. Here, a single phase motor is connected to 400 volt 50 hertz supply and takes 31.7 ampere current at a power factor of 0.7 lagging. We have to identify the value of capacitance required in parallel with the motor to raise the power factor to 0.9 lagging. We can solve the problem in three stages. In first stage, we have to draw the circuit diagram and in second stage, we have to draw phase diagram and in third stage, we have to do calculation for finding the value of capacitance. Now, we can draw the circuit diagram for the problem. Let this is motor M this is motor M connected across 400 volt so this is 400 volt this motor is taking 31.7 ampere current so this is taking 31.7 ampere current let the 31.7 ampere current drawn by the motor M be I M. Now a capacitance is connected in parallel with the motor to raise the power factor. So a capacitance is added in parallel with the motor. Let the value of the capacitor be C and the current drawn by the capacitor be IC. Total current drawn by the circuit will be the phasor sum of IC and IM. Let total current drawn by the circuit be I. So I will be phasor sum of IC and IM. We have to identify the value of C. So C is what? Let this is figure 1. Now we have to draw phasor diagram for this circuit of figure 1. Let this is the voltage B. Now the current drawn by the motor IM is lagging. At 0.7 lagging power factor. So, let this is the current IM which is lagging the voltage B by a certain angle. Let this is B51. Now, capacitance is also drawing a current IC. The current drawn by the capacitance will be leading the voltage B by 90 degree due to the properties of capacitance. So let this is the current drawn by the capacitance which is IC this one IC and this is leading the voltage by 90 degree. Now if we take the phasor sum of IC and IM it will become as so this is I and the combined current of IC and IM. Now the current I after adding the capacitance will be lagging the voltage B by a certain angle let the new angle be phi 2. Now we have to do the calculation in third stage. From the problem we see that the power factor of 0.7 lagging is when the motor is connected across 400 volt supply without 
adding the capacitance so before power factor correction this phi 1 angle phi 1 angle is cos phi 1 is equal to 0 0.7 0 0.7 so the value of phi 1 is forty five point five seven degree after power factor correction this is cos phi two cos phi two and the value is equal to point nine and is also lagging so this is zero point nine from here we can determine phi two as this is 25.84 degree so here phi 1 is equal to 45.57 degree and phi 2 is equal to 25.84 degree we know that active power of a circuit before power factor correction and after power factor correction remains same which is vital for power factor correction related problem so we can determine the active power for the circuit let the active power kilowatt is equal to B I sin B I cos phi 1. So, this is basically I here I will be equal to I m because no capacitance is added before power factor correction. So, I is equal to I m. Now, if we put the value of voltage B which is 400 volt here b is equal to 400 volt current i which is equal to i m and this is 31.7 ampere 31.7 and cos phi 1 which is 0 0.7 0 0.7 we get the value of kilowatt equal to 8.8.76 kilowatt now we know that leading kilobar provided by the capacitance is equal to leading kilobar supplied by capacitor kilobar is equal to kilowatt into 10 phi 1 minus 10 phi 2 so we can put the value of kilowatt from here this is 8876 multiplied by 10 phi 1 is 45.57 45.57 degree minus 10 phi 2 which is 25.84 So, after calculation it will become as 45.57 minus 10 25.84 kilobar. We can write the equation of kilobar as kilobar is equal to V I C sin phi C 
IC current is the current drawn by the capacitance C, which is unknown. Kilobar is equal to 4755.9 phi C. Phi C is equal to 90 degree. This is phi C. So we can put the value here. Kilobar 4755.9 is equal B, which is equal to 400, 400 multiplied by IC unknown and sin phi c sin phi c basically sin 90 degree is equal 1 so from here we get ic is equal 4755.9 by 400 so this is Four hundred into sine ninety. This is basically one equal to one. Is eleven point eight eight ampere. Now we know that the value of capacitance C can be determined by using the equation C is equal to I C by omega V, where I C by omega is equal to twice phi f multiplied by b. Now, I C is equal to 11.88 and twice phi f is equal to 50 hertz. B is equal to 400 volt. So, the calculation. The value of C becomes 94.6 microfarad. So we get C is equal 94.6 microfarad. This is the answer for the power factor correction problem. Thank you for watching.